work. Like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think 
that I didn't die for. Now just calm down. Security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Rob Hills for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. The balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, mug wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. Getting down and dirty with one, relaxing it a little? Well, I have, and I'll tell you, it's very rewarding, eh, hey, mate? Very rewarding indeed. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Would we love? Once you calm it down with the rubbin, it's like a swimming puppy, real affectionate and stuff. Okay, I'll try that. You should, love, you really should. Let me tell you something else. Go on, go on. Well, this is something for the guys out there, really. You know, with a girl wife, you ain't got a clue. I mean, a female human, when she's on heat, right, ready to play, looks identical to a female human when she ain't on heat. And would throw a drink over your face if you grab her behind and start trying anything intimate. You can't tell the difference. I know that only two women can take a forker monkey from the jungles of the Philippines. When she's on heat, her behind sticks up and glows bright red and she makes a sound a bit like this. And any fool or thing that can tell she's ripe and ready for action, certainly. science practiced by repressed blokes in laboratories hasn't even known about. Really? Really, I have. There's a horny cat bear named after me. Cat, right? Exactly the same as a regular bear, only it's got a big horny growth hidden right down its groin area. You gotta reach in, have it fiddle about, and then you find it. Completely different it is. I was amazed when I found it. I can imagine. I was amazed when I left the hairdressers. No wonder, darling. Oh, the double-gutted pet tree monkey. Exactly like a normal tree monkey, only it's pulled after me. And if you have a rummage around inside, going in the back door, you discover it's got two digestive tracts. Two. Amazing. Yeah. Now, boys, the crap's gotta go. Oh, no way. It's the science of Mr. Zoo. Getting down and dirty with animals. Because I love them and I hate rods. Okay. It also says here you like zoos. It's a love hate thing, that, that, That's nice. But I'm certainly an expert. I know what I'm doing and I'm not afraid to expose myself. Okay, well, I'm getting a little confused here. Why don't we take a break and when we come back, take some phone calls because all the buttons are really flashing all the better. Bye, hey, chat. The science of evolution has uncovered many of life's mysteries, like tampons or the pyramids. But the mystery of the armpit remains. What's it for? Why is it hell? And why do men... I thought they were calling you 
radiates off the force.
Only gets a bill after its mate breaks its heart by sleeping with its brother. I know all about that. I was drawing the eyes out for weeks on all the for the so-called United States. Guess what? There's no more room. We'll be piled on top of each other. Are we allowing it? It's the truth, my friend, the damn truth. And before you start, I am not a racist. I hate everybody, irrelevant of other issues. But I especially hate Yankees, by which I mean anyone from Georgia or further north. Build your own theme parks, buy your own sun, grow your own damn mosquito-infested swamp, pal. We're gonna build ourselves a river. F-B-I-C-I, I don't give a damn. They can't stop us, you shrub. Yellow belly tie wearing bribe taking the hypocrite. What have you done for Vice City up there in Washington? I've ensured important. Of course we don't say Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 don't leave. Dozer and built condos. The madness must stop. So you suggest we just stop making babies? People need a place to park their boat and trailer and put their swimming pool. You're beginning to sound red, and by that I mean you prefer a hammer and sickle over a hamburger. I'm not little. I'm five foot five. It's time for corporations and all of capitalism to step aside for naturalism. You're not saving this planet. You're spending it. Your credit is no good here. We can't afford to loan you any more of our nature. Those are our trees. I only wish I could be around a little longer to enjoy it. I feel so old. Someone must take my legacy. I must train a little me. Oh. teaching them a lesson. I'll tell you what makes a real man. A truck to pull stuff and a couch to think on. I'll tell you. Speaking as a sensualist, and by that I mean a very narrow-minded, in-centered man of peace, and travel. I recently went to Europe. I think everyone should see it for a week. You really see what's wrong with this country when you visit a European utopia. Things like a journey, public transportation, health care, leather shorts, mustaches. When I went to Belize, I helped some villagers clear some land for an environmentally friendly coal mine. We've all got to make some sacrifices if we're going to get anywhere. My dad gave me the money to set up an exciting trust there. But how does that help the people in Vice City from worrying about whether they're going to get robbed? What drives a man to just take? What we need are more after-school sports like choir or drama so people can learn to express themselves properly by singing or pretending to be a tree. Have you ever heard a whale sing? It's a lonely form of beauty and some very ancient wisdom. Helping people to help themselves. Get out, boy. The track is time to go. Trust fun, Tommy. Your ideas are pathetic. <laughs>
statistics hurling me like so much stale confetti. We cannot boil people down to numbers. You have no idea, my friend, what it takes to serve, the sacrifices I've made to help my country, to help Vice City, the complexity of government, the, the hideousness of my wife, and the way her thighs grow like our national dam. Oh, oh, sure, some people like that, but not me. It's a nightmare, my friend, and, and I'm thrown back at me by an ingrate like you. I can scarcely get up in the morning. And with that outrageous revelation, let's take a quick break to tell you something very informative. You're listening to Pressing Issues, and... And the way it challenges your view of society. Unfortunately, public radio and vice city is under pressure. That's because we're better than everyone. You can't hear this kind of hard-hitting, long-drawn-out programming anywhere else. But you have to give money. That's right, Jonathan. Money is important. And the exchange for goods and services, like getting a hip replacement or funding a starving child in Australia. I feel all covered with flies right now. Call us. Pledge your money. Give 10% of your income. That's all we ask. And for that, you know everyone can be educated on the important things we discuss on VCPR. 10% is a really small amount. I remember when I was volunteering in Central America to make myself appear less shallow. The native peoples would give me 10% of their land for a pair of mirrored sunglasses. And they would run around me saying, chicle, chicle, which is Espanol for pretty woman. It was very spiritual, like waves. Yeah, I remember. Uh, 